How's it going guys? This is uh, Nathan from 802 Outdoors and uh, I just wanted to show you guys something uh, that I do for my research. Uh, I'm actually a graduate student in fisheries and uh, part of my research involves aging the fish that I collect. Um, and today I want to show you the proper way and the most accurate way uh, to age most fishes. So, and that is by aging them, counting the annuli on otoliths. Uh, otoliths are hard bony structures. You can see here, this one is encased in some epoxy resin. This is a freshwater drum otolith, a very big otolith. Um, <clears throat> and today, I'm going to show you how to cross-section it and count the annuli and age this fish. So stay tuned. The first step in this process is to remove the otolith from the fish and I've already done that. Otoliths are in uh, the cranium or the skull of the fish and I've already removed. You let them dry for a period of time so that they shrink down and are nice and compact. And once they are dry, you place them in an epoxy resin mixture. Um, this is what this guy is in right now. And once they're in the epoxy resin mixture, you can use a, uh, a low speed uh, isomet saw. So this is a diamond wafering blade. It's for cutting at very low speeds, very fine cuts so you can get cross sections of the otolith. You can see here, this one has already been cut and we cut very thin, thin little sheets of otoliths off that. Then you can put it under a microscope, shine light up through it, and I'll show you that later. And you can see the growth rings, um, or annuli as they're formally called, uh, much like a tree uh, on the cross section. So I'll show you that in a sec. So, once we have two nice little cross sections of the otolith here, we put it under a microscope and shine some light through it. So, we're going to put it in this little tray here. We're going to put it in some immersion oil. That will help the annuli stand out a little bit better. As you can see here, a little bit. And then we put it under the microscope. And this very nice microscope is hooked up to a computer so that we can actually blow up the image so we don't have to squint our eyes into the microscope. So this is a very old fish here. We can adjust the light. Might make it a little bit easier for you. So this is the proper way to age fish in my opinion. And you can see here this is the nucleus. This is what you call the center of the otolith. And then from here, you count uh, the dark bands. Those are annuli, growth rings, just like a tree. Um, <clears throat> so we have the nucleus. Then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Roughly sixteen on that transect. That's an old, old freshwater drum. Pretty incredible. So, what are otoliths? So, much like growth rings, um, well, they are growth rings, and essentially, the the dark band represents a period of slow growth. Uh, that is essentially, particularly in the northern latitudes. Um, that means winter time. So this, whereas this lighter band here is a period of 
fast growth or high growth. So the fish is born, first year of growth, basically the first summer of growth, first winter, second winter, third winter, etc. Um, so it's a very effective tool and pretty darn cool. Let's take a look at uh, another one here. Oh yeah, another another nice old one. Let's see, nucleus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten years old. Nucleus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, about ten years old. And another great thing about this this method is it can be used for almost every almost every species of fish out there. It's by and large the most commonly accepted form of aging. Uh, scales are almost obsolete now. There's lots of data out there that suggests that scales uh, really misrepresent the true age of fishes, uh, particularly of older fishes. Um, so this method is really the preferred uh, way to age fish and is very accurate. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well, there you have it folks. Now you know how to age fish. <laughs>